Are you still collecting phonology data today? Oh, I do. Uh, yeah, but not. Uh, yeah, uh, you have a pretty good idea of um, if things are timely or not. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what you what you see going on in the woods, though. Now I was just out the other day. There just isn't the life out there. I, mean, I, I don't know. I think a lot of it is chemically chemically driven. Uh, everything is treated pretty much with a chemical, and that's passed on one way, one form or another. Migration is very different this year. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but it's very, very different than what uh, used to come through here at Royal. What do you think has caused that change? Well, <clears throat> well uh, I expect the climate to some degree. But when you spray like the mosquito abatement district spray, that's a fog. You eliminate that whole area of insects. So the things that normally, this was a, a primary flyway at one time. And you eliminate one whole strata of food, bugs. Uh, they're not going to come through here. They change their migration habits. And that's one of the things that I think has happened because, you know, the whole, 25 years ago or so, you'd see all kind of warblers going through it. Not anymore. How do you think that um, climate change or global warming might affect phenology in the future? Well, if there's global change, there would be <clears throat> weather, you mean, in terms mm -hmm. of the weather. Well, First of all, you'd have to start with the plant life. That would change. The plant life being the food for the various types of animal life, that would change. So it's just one stage after another. Um, we have geese that you don't know, stay here the year round now. Mm -hmm. and, <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I see. Um, oh. Some of the sparrows, for instance, are here longer now than what they used to be. And I'm anxious to see whether they nest here now. I don't know. But, uh, I think that the our winters have been much milder, which means that things stay here a lot longer. And the birds that we see here now, uh, that, that uh, the white crown sparrows, for instance, and the white throats, they're still around, and that's, that's very late for them. 